25 years ago, Charlie Ward brought home the Heisman and a national championship. This year, Live in Tallahassee helps celebrate that anniversary with special segments of Chalk Talk with Charlie. Hello, friends. We are here having Chalk Talk with Charlie Ward. Going to talk to you about another FSU Seminoles football game and another defeat. Charlie, man, what's happening here? Uh, well, we're going through some growing pains. We're going through some growing pains. And, you know, you alluded, we were talking earlier. We just went up to play Notre Dame at Notre Dame. I mean, that's pretty historic, right? It was. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, 25 years ago, we went up there to play Notre Dame as well. Mm -hmm. And um, had the same results. We lost. Regardless of the score, we lost. But right. um, it was a great experience for us. Um, you know, it was a really, really high-powered game, number one against number two, and we weren't able to come out with the victory. Right. We just, we didn't make plays on defense when we right. when we needed it, and offensively, we turned it over the first, you know, two turnovers and four possessions, is, and your end is not a very good recipe for success. It's not, and Charlie, you know, time and time again, people are expressing their frustrations. We looked at a recent press conference with Coach Willie Taggart held after, and I'm just, I'm going to read some of the comments, obviously not all of them, a lot of them are very fired up and heated. Yeah. One person responded to a fan saying, I agree Coach Taggart deserves time, but the things he can address due to lack of talent, he has not. Next to the last in nation in penalties per game, that's lack of discipline. What are your thoughts? Uh, sometimes it takes you longer to build mm -hmm. discipline. Okay. Um, there are things being corrected each and every day. Mm -hmm. They have practice every Sunday mm -hmm. to correct the mistakes that they made uh, on Saturday. Right. And those things are being addressed. That's just part of, like I said, the growing process. Mm -hmm. um, once they start to understand and it becomes the culture, it becomes a habit, um, then those things will change. And so I think Coach Taggart and the staff are doing a really, really good job. A lot of people may disagree with that comment, mm -hmm. but... Uh, me knowing them and also having a son on the team and seeing the things that they're building, right. like the team meals, all those things uh, go a long ways in having the success. Because as we all know, you know, in a successful relationship and mm -hmm. on a successful it's a team, um, there has to be accountability and it has to be trust. Definitely. I think people at home, they think, okay, quick fix solution, just get rid of the coaches, bring on some new coaches. Just keep bringing them until we win. Right. And it's not, it's just like building a house. You okay. Know, there may be some patchwork things that you can do to make mm -hmm. the house look good. Right. Uh, but the foundation is still, you know, messed up. Okay. And so right now they're doing some foundational things um, that I think that's going to help us long term. And of course, it comes down to guys playing well. All right. And we haven't made those necessary plays that we needed to make. So some things coming up. To be Bowl eligible, I believe we need to win the next three games. Two. Two games. Yes. What's the possibility of this happening? Uh, it's, a, it's a very good possibility. Um, there's always hope um, that it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things, I've been in a losing culture uh, for the past seven, eight years <laughs> right. um, as far as uh, my football programs. And uh, I've seen progress over the course of a four or five year pro, uh, four or five years. Um, to bring the program to where it is competitive. Mm -hmm. And so, not saying that's going to happen here, okay. uh, because we do have talent. That talent needs to be cultivated into a, a winning environment. And mm -hmm. so, the possibility of us beating Boston College and Florida, it's good. It's good. Well, Charlie, from your lips to their ears, we're going to make it happen. Two more games, Seminoles can get it done. And other news, though, the FSU basketball team is looking pretty good. Yes. Um, I was blessed to have an opportunity to go watch them against UF. Okay. And uh, they were like a bow constrictor. <laughs> there you go. You know, Grab they just, just strangled them, you know, slowly. Right, and right. next thing you know, they only had like 20-something points in halftime, 30-something right after halftime, and, and it was really, really uh, bad. But our guys uh, did a great job playing defense, and offensively, we have some really good shooters, and the guys play well together. And that's just an example of they've been in the system. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it for quite a, quite a time. They have some veteran guys on the on veteran leadership. And last year, they weren't expected to make it to the Elite Eight. Right. But that team unity and camaraderie allowed them to 
Yeah. Have that foundation right. for right. this year. Exactly. Well, I'm excited about that. Hopefully, we get to go to some more games, talk about what's going on with the basketball team as well. All knows all day, pretty all much. All knows all day. We can do that. Well, if you want to learn more questions, have more things you want to learn about, talk to Charlie Ward, hit us up on Facebook, get your questions. We'll answer it next time. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you next time.